Welcome to Dun On Fire, right here on High TV, your luxury channel. It's in and out of Colombo, and we have come all the way to Surya Ritnoti. This fabulous property is, of course, owned by a phenomenal gentleman, Mr. Eric Surya Sena, whose 50 year celebration in the Bathi can your tourism industry was celebrated right here and we are back here to speak to a guest, have something eat, to eat and just enjoy our stay. Welcome to Dunwon Fire, made possible by our friends at LICC Cheese. She's our country, Surangana Kirindi. That's what sort of really made headlines with this face that became very popular in Sri Lanka. Welcome to the show, it's done on fire. And with me, I have Kishani, how are you doing? Hello. So you um, go as Alanki as well? Yes, I go as Alanki and I go as Kishani. So what is your favorite name out of the two? I think it's Alanki. Really? Well, Alanki is my first name actually. Oh, ah, okay. It's just that my parents used to call me Alanki and then after a while yeah. they switched it to Kishani. Kishani. They should have really yeah. kept it to one, no? I know. And now my life is so difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to figure out what's my name. I know. What's the name to go ahead with? Uh, I don't know. I think it's Alanki because I, I feel it's a name that not many have. Okay. So we'll stick to Alanki. But then again, I also like Kishani because it starts with K and that's the 11th, uh, 11th in the alphabet and 11 is my lucky number. So I don't Gosh, know. This question became very, <laughs> very challenging. I think we are after a photo shoot. I think we deserve to have a drink. Ah, I'm dehydrated. Yeah. Cheers to good life. Uh, we are also battling a bit of a... Cheers. Because it's about to rain. Rains gather flies. That's a bit of a problem. Let's go. Is this it nice? is so nice. Really? Yes. Mm. There's coconut in it. Oh, wow, yeah. So if you're wondering, we're at Surya Resort. Um, and it's such a spectacular place and we cannot get enough of it. So to start things off, um, what keeps you busy these days? You're running a sari store. Yeah. I'm running a sari store and um, I'm also shooting for a drama called Itto. Okay. Yes. Itto. Yeah. So it's about, um, it's about detectives. Oh, wow. Yeah. Are you the detective or are you the one who kills somebody? I'm the detective. Okay. <laughs> do I look like I could kill someone? Do you, <laughs> do you come with your black leather pants? Well, yeah, I'm in jeans mostly. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Because our detectives don't wear such clothes. No, they and don't. And they ain't going to look like you. Um, well, I'm trying to look like one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So tell me, um, no, it's just that you are so well put together. That's why. So tell me now, your favorite outfit is a sari? Well, yeah, I, I love wearing sari because I feel it complements a woman so well and you look so complete, you know. Mm. And can you drape it by yourself? That's I can okay. drape ah, it really. by myself. But it takes time. Uh, not really. Uh, really? You're, you're one of those really established people with saris. Yes, I can actually drape my own sari. Okay. So your career started off. Did you ever think that you'll be in the public eye, in the creative industry? Never. Any one of your parents, uncles, aunties, any, anyone in it? No. Only you? It's just me. How did you fall into all of this? So I was 16. Okay. Um, I was at this hotel with my mom and then this photographer approached me and he was like, can you model for the cover of this magazine? So I was like, okay, let me ask my mom. Actually, mm. I was 15. Okay. So I asked my mom and she just laughed it off, yeah. you know, because I was, I was into my studies right. and I was very studious. And, and then, you're still very studious. Um, am I? Yeah, you okay. are. And then, um, and then uh, so two years later, I bumped into the same photographer <laughs> and he's like, so are you doing the shoot? <laughs> And um, that's when you were 17. It, that's when I was 17. And then, um, so then I was on the cover of the magazine, and then this advertising agency spotted me mm. and invited me for my first TV advertisement. Right. And then it just. It just rolled kept, into one another. Yeah. Okay, how was it for you to do these 
music videos. Did you feel shy on the first day? I was. So Suranga Nakirili was my first music yeah. video. So and such a nice song that is. Yes, it is such a Who sweet song. Who is the bread boy? Do you keep in touch with him? Um, well, uh, I'm not in touch with him at the moment, but I was in touch with him for a, for several years. Okay. I even went for his wedding. Oh, so cute. Yeah. Okay. But uh, no, actually, I never wanted to be in music videos. But I actually knew the uh, the producer, right. and um, he was like, "No, we really want you in it." Okay. And I went home, and I was like, I just told my mom, and I was like, "I don't think I want. I mean, it's okay to be in advertisements, but I don't think I want to be in music, music videos." Video. And my mom's like, "No, you should do it." Yeah. And I'm so glad I did. Yeah, it. I know yeah. because it was such a start and a boom to your career. Anyway, let's get into our first break. When we do come back, we're going to be speaking about more on what Kishani is doing these days and also what she has to offer when it comes to this upcoming teledrama and so much more and also we shared screen for a very short time we'll speak more about it of course when we do come back right here on Dharma <laughs> the show it's done on fire right here on high tv made possible by our friends at licc jeans and today we are at surya resort this brilliant place always welcomes you with warm hearts and at the same time great food and i am in conversation with alanki i dropped the kishani part that's fine okay so tell me about this teledrama that you're doing how many teledramas have you done well i'm not done much i've done around 10 teledramas that's much darling how many episodes do these each run with well it depends some are, some are like long ones Soap you operas. know yeah mm. so some would be around 25 episodes whereas in the one i'm doing now yeah. is around 50 episodes okay yeah 50 yeah oh that's brilliant well i'm i'm i come in the third season okay so i'm in the third season and the fourth season okay so that's 50 episodes okay brilliant yeah. so that's 100 all together yes excellent so tell me a little bit about um acting you can be a pretty face, a photographer would have seen you and thought, oh, she has such a stunning uh, face, so we should use her for something. But acting is a skill, is a talent. Right. How did you sort of develop that? So I never wanted to get into acting. Mm. I never even wanted to be in an advertisement. Okay. You know? So it was after the advertisements that I was invited for several dramas, and right. movies, etc. And uh, well, to be honest, the first teledrama was quite tough for me mm. because I was not used to it. Right. You know, I had no, I had no training. Yeah, and how to and be in front of a camera? I had not even watched many teledramas, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. So I was very, very camera shy. Mm. Um, in fact, like on my first day, the director had to actually come, sit me down, and say, "Look here, calm down. <laughs> Don't be nervous. You'll be okay with time." Yeah. You know, he had to calm me down. But that's I very was kind so of nervous. him. He was amazing. Like uh, his name's Chamara Javier. Okay. Uh, so um, yeah, I'm very grateful to him. Excellent. So let's dig in, and we will talk more because I don't want the food to go cold. My God, you're putting the nappy and all. I also put the nappy <laughs> there. <laughs> I am super hungry. Okay. Now, you are very close to your mum. I am. Yes. Okay. So your mum is like your backbone in everything that you do. Definitely. Okay. So tell me about the relationship that you all have. Ah, uh, so. Uh, my mom is like my soulmate. Okay. Um, I don't know. You know, there we are so close that at times, not at times, but this happens on a daily basis. Mm. We happen to be thinking the same thing at the same time. Okay. You know, like it might be something the really deja random. Mm. You know, yeah, it's day job. Mm. Like I would be thinking about something that happened two years ago, mm. and then she would mention it to me, and I'm like, "You're kidding me! I thought about it first. Mm. You know. Um, so it, it's a very special relationship and I think I'm very blessed. Okay. I mean, I'm blessed to have both my parents. Yeah, but then true. I'm very blessed to have my mom who who's is supportive. actually more like a friend. Yeah. You know? And, and she looks like a friend too. She looks she super looks young. She looks like a friend too, yeah. yes. <laughs> now, how is home front? Can you cook? Uh, I can cook a little. What is your best dish? So I think it's cream of mushroom soup. Soup? Well, it's soup. Well, I also know to make pasta and stuff. Modern cooking only? Well, I know how to make chicken curry. Ah, 
Good. Well, I'm being honest. Yeah, survivor skills are on. Yes. Because I wanted to see because now this is a food based show, no? So how do you spend a typical Sunday? Like who cooks? What is your special meal at home? Like there's always that thing that goes with your family, like that signature dish that makes it special. So on Sundays, mm. no one cooks. <laughs> because it's the only day that our store is closed. Okay. You know, so it's like our free day. So we right. eat out. Okay. Store um, means your sari store. Yeah, my oh. sari store. But if if we if we are home, um, you know, Sunday is usually for yellow rice. Okay. You know, yellow rice and chicken curry maybe. Okay. Yeah. Um, what did your family and friends say when you got this recognition, fame? Like your schoolmates. Uh, they would have I, never seen you as a girl who will end up in this. But no, they never did. Yeah. Because even at school, I was, I I would say I was a bit nerdy. Mm. You know, I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really even not even talk to anyone. It's not because I was proud, but it's no, because I had, very I had very low self-esteem, and mm. I was an introvert. Mm. You know, so when they saw me on TV, they were like, "Oh my gosh, we didn't see this coming." You know. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think about the industry today? You have been in films, you have been in tele dramas, you have done music videos, you have done commercials. All of this is such a big art industry in Sri Lanka. Yeah. Do you think we are going the right way, or you can eat? I'm just uh, blocking you from eating. Are we going the right way? Um, no. Do you think we should develop more, or what? Yeah, what would we, sh we should definitely develop more. Uh, there is a lot of talent mm. that is not not being utilized. Mm. You know. And why do movies take a long time to release? Um. I don't know. I really don't know the exact reason, but I also think it's because there's so much competition with international movies coming right. to Sri Lanka. You know. Right. Okay. Yeah. By the time you give camp cinemas to them, and by the yeah, time and you then give you have to wait in the waiting list. You know, and are any movies of yours pending? Uh no. Okay. No. Um, now, today, I think the industry is also going healthy in terms of very multi-usable actresses and actors coming in who maintain how they look, they believe in looking good, they look, believe in looking fit. So that's a great skill because back in the days we didn't give such importance. No one was very concerned. Correct. Yes. But right now it's coming there. Yes. Do you feel that the competition is tighter for you now? Or do, have you ever thought that you know you should be doing 100 movies by the time you're 50 and you oh, are... Oh no, 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 no. None of those? No, nothing like that. I am very easy going when it comes to acting. I just take what comes. Uh -huh. And I you don't, don't... go for auditions? I don't, I don't go for auditions. I don't go looking for work. Okay. Uh, and, well, acting is a part of my life, but it's not my entire life, you know. I have yeah. a lot of things that going you have planned. on. Yes. So you were studying law? Yes. Was that what you wanted to do since you were very young? Um, you don't well, look the law type of person. You're so soft-spoken and you're like... Oh no, I, ah, really? I I can be tough. These are the ones I tell you, the ones <laughs> who look like Poos Petias are not exactly the ones who are like that. Uh, I can be, t I, I think I'm a very straightforward person, you okay. know. Um, uh, I can be very soft, but I can also like be to the point, mm. you know. Uh, but I've always, if I could pick any subject to study, it would be law. I, okay. I love the subject. Great, now nobody can ever play you out with a contract. Hopefully not. Yeah, because yes. you know the ins and outs of how to draft a contract. I do. Exactly. That's the best part. Uh, so she and I actually shared screen for a bit. We did a show called Planet Pulse. Oh my gosh. I even forgot the name. <laughs> yes. How many weeks did we do it? Eight weeks? Nine? No, it was a very short time because you got your movie offer. Yeah, probably around two months. Yeah. Not even two months. Yeah. Because I still remember. Uh, because I didn't even know she was going to be on screen and I was a bit upset on the first day I went her because I didn't know who she was. I didn't... You were so upset. Yeah, because yeah. I didn't even know who you were. Like, I didn't even know there's going to be a person there. Oh but my I... gosh, really? You were surprised? Yes, I didn't even know. I thought you were a guest who has been brought in. No, no, no. But, but after that, I realized what a special girl she is. She's very simple, so down to earth, and that's amazing. We'll speak more, of course, about this experience on TV when we do come back right after break.
Welcome back to the show, our final segment here at Surya Resort. It's Dano on Fire as we come to you with In and Out of Colombo. That's what our season is called. And with Alanki, as we have a conversation, this is our final segment and everything sweet. That's what we like to call this. This normally my favorite. Dessert? Yeah. Oh, same here. Yeah. Sweet tooth is the problem. I have a major sweet tooth. So, you're the only child. I'm the only child. How has it been? Do you, do you long for company? Well, 90% of the time, I'm quite happy. Okay. <laughs> What's about the 10%? Well, sometimes it gets lonely, you know. Okay. Like, I, I do, I'm single at the moment, you know. So, I don't have any siblings. <sighs> so, at times, I think it would have been fun if I had a sibling. Mm. Yeah. Just for the fun of it, just to... Just so I have someone to go out with yeah. or hang out with, you know. That's true. Yeah. Um, do you feel that you're too naive to be in this industry? Do you feel that you are... I've been told that. Yeah. Yes. Thought as much. Yes. Yeah. Because you're such a sheltered girl as well. I am very sheltered, but then again, okay. I wouldn't say I am naive. I yeah. I would say You know, that but you don't know how to fight the battle like yes. a Yes. Yeah. Because yes. you're not cut off with Because same. I'm I'm not I'm not conniving yeah. or shrewd, you know, like I, I just don't have it in my blood. Yeah, that's yes. not in your system. Let's dig in it's before not. because we are battling this fight with these flies, I tell you. I know. Yeah, you can go for the. You want my chocolate square? No, as well? I have one. Okay. Have one here. All right. So now let's speak about our time on TV. How young were you at that time? I was young too. Oh, I was nineteen. Really? I would have been about the same age. So are we the same age now? Mm. I was. I was around nineteen or eighteen. I would have been twenty. Yeah. So, somewhere there. We've come a long way since yeah, then. In that yes. region. Yes. Yeah. Yes. What did you? What was your first thought about me? Because My I know it was very unpleasant. Our first time on TV was. Oh, I thought you were not being inviting, and you were not. You were not comfortable with <laughs> yes, me. Yes, I and wasn't. And I was like, <laughs> "What's his problem?" Yeah, I you wasn't know? <laughs> inviting, and you know, I will never forget. I've shared this story multiple times. Because I've, I've never hosted a show with another person at that with time. With another person? It was my first time. So you felt threatened? No, I felt very like betrayed that I should have been informed prior. Right. Yeah, I, I think you should have been yeah. informed. I had and, no idea. And then I sort of took it out on you, I think. Yeah. That means I, I was not warm enough and welcoming enough to guide you through the show. I will never forget uh, a little piece of advice that my mum gave me. So I got home. Our show ended at 10.30 in the night, if you do remember. Okay. I said when you wore something blue. Right. Yeah, I'll never forget. I, and your I hair don't... was done up. What? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'll never forget. So, right. uh, when I got home, my mom opened the door. It was around 11 by the time transport dropped me. She said, today's the first day you look terrible on screen. And I was like, huh? She said, you made that girl not welcomed at all. So oh my you... gosh, I love your mom. Yeah, that was the first time she told me this. And after that, I think I called and apologized to you and I, I spoke to no, you no, about no, how you we didn't. can do this show better you the next week. You didn't call and apologize. Then I spoke to you and asked how we can do this show better. Because the next week we probably, were back to normal. Probably. Yeah. Yes, the next yes, week yes, I was yes, like, yes. let's give it a go. Because yeah. I felt so bad. But I your felt mom so is so sweet. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I love it when, when people can actually point out something, you know, which is really honest. And this story, I've even shared when I speak in public. Oh, wow. The fact that I learned how you look good is when you make another person look good. Right. And it's also, I suppose, when, when you are very confident and comfortable yeah. with someone else. And I was very young and I didn't know how yes. to handle these things. So, I think it was but a learning it's curve. It's okay, you're forgiven. Yeah. And also, the fact that you were so broad-minded enough to accept me still, I'm ever so grateful for that. Oh, thank yeah. you. But we remained friends after that. That's we amazing. We did. I know. It's been around 10 years. Yeah, yes. I remember. Yes. So, Tell me about your business. How did this entrepreneurship start and why saris and how is it going? Okay. So taught me my mom's idea. Okay. Mom is your friend. I can see that. Mom is my guru. Mm. So um so she had this idea for like around two or three years. Okay. And she kept saying it to me, but then I was always so busy, you know. Mm. And then one day she was like you know, like, what do you think about this? And then I was like, okay, you know what? You've been talking about it so much. Let's give it Let's a go. Let's give it a go. And uh, we started it. Uh, we started it three years ago. Okay. So it's been. It'll be four years next April. Mm. 
but it has been an amazing journey. Okay. Yes. So you all only sell saris? Only saris. Okay. And you have you personally choose these things that you bring down? Yeah, we do. My mom and I choose the saris. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah. We hand pick each and every sari. Okay. Yeah. And what do you see yourself eventually doing? Like, have you ever had like a vision? Um, see, I used to. But now I take things as they come okay. because I feel that life is not something that can be planned ahead. Mm. You know, sometimes life takes you by surprise. Yeah. So I realized that so far in my journey, nothing has gone to plan. Everything has been no. like, oh, yeah. something new. Everything's been from yeah. acting to, to, to juggling it with law to yeah. opening up Radha. No, nothing has really gone to plan. Yeah, it's all just been very yeah. spontaneous. Yeah. Um, what would you say? To your fans like I'm sure people write to you on Instagram do, now that yes. it's so connectable yes uh, how active are you with social media I am super active on Instagram not so much oh. on Facebook because unfortunately my page was hacked oh yes oh, it always happens no uh, so um, I, I connect very closely with my fans on Instagram mm. and also Instagram has been very useful like in terms of you know like learning about so many new places that mm. are out there you know Quicker. like yeah everything is so reachable mm. you know i am totally hooked on to it I, yeah. she put a boomerang off me today i did yeah. yes so um that's exciting so wanted to ask you what who would you say is your ideal man because one day i don't want you to be coming on a date with me what to do oh. who would you want to be seated here my ideal man would be leonardo dicaprio he died in the Titanic, man. And then he's alive again. Um, yeah, but someone um, relatable in Lankan soil. You want somebody like Leonardo DiCaprio? You'll never get it here. Well, unfortunately, there's no there's no one in my mind right now. But if there's one thing I look for in a man, I need I really want him to be honest and straightforward. Big shoes to fill. It's 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 something difficult to come by yeah. these days, you know. True. Not even the Queen got it. I know, I know. Did you watch? Did you the watch? Crown? Yes. I'm watching it too. Oh, yes. Uh, I like how she says her. All right. I love her accent. I know. She's uh, so graceful. I know. So brilliant. I worked on it. And my, <laughs> I watched it. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm and in then the you learn so much I know. from it, right? Everything about everything. jewelry, about, yes. about the, the royal yes. the statuses and how it has worked it's brilliant anyway we'll speak about the crown after the show yes. we need to wrap things up on down one fight has been absolutely amazing big shout out to uncle um, eric she was asking me about him um he's such a lovely human being one of the Hi. most kindest people you'll find in the fashion and in the tourism industry thank you for your hospitality for gracing us here it has been absolutely amazing and of course to licc jeans for giving us the to do the show <laughs> and <laughs> La Silon and to Hasranga and to the whole team that's here in making this show possible. Until we see you with another exciting episode, it's ciao. So